Hi everybody, it's Gina and I'm back with a quick video. This is uh, my latest Dollar Tree haul and I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I got recently. It is actually the day after Thanksgiving so I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving day with your friends and family and tons of awesome food because I know I did. So anyway, let's jump right into this. It is around 7.30 in the morning. I have my granddaughter in the room um, behind me so Chances are she's probably going to wake up during this video. So if you hear a little bit of uh, chitter chatter in the background, it's going to be her. So I'm going to make this as quick as I can, but hopefully you still uh, get the idea that this is a great haul. And just to give you some ideas of what you can do with these items or why I purchased these items. All right. So the first first thing I want to show you is this this table cover. Um, it is plastic, but I. Um, I don't have a fabric one and I haven't really found a really nice fabric one that I really like. But again, I have my kids here and I have my granddaughter, my granddaughter, so I don't really need anything expensive to throw on the table to get damaged or destroyed. So and plus these little these tablecloths have this awesome Christmas design on them. I got the one with the snowflakes, but there's some that had Christmas trees, some with Santa Claus, so you can choose the one that you prefer. And this is probably going to be too long for my table, but it is long enough that I can actually fold this in half, and um, or maybe even cut it in half and use the other half for another idea that I have. So let me put that aside. The other thing I found was a Christmas tree skirt. And um, you can tell my tree is up behind me, but it doesn't have the decorations on there yet. I'm going to be working on that today. But I needed a, a tree skirt, so I went ahead and got this. And again, uh, this particular one had the snowflakes on, on the design, but there are quite a few different designs that you can choose from. So um, head on over to the Dollar Tree if you are looking for a tree skirt. It is only a buck, guys. You cannot go wrong, and it is a very good size. So there was that. And I am going to be putting up my Christmas Village this year. And all of the items in my Christmas Village came from the Dollar Tree. I've been collecting them over the years. I think I started collecting about maybe 10 years ago. And I don't have every single piece in the in the um the collection, but I do have a vast collection of it. So this um, glitter drape is going to be used as the snow in the Christmas village, and I'm probably going to need to pick up probably three more because uh, I was kind of in a hurry yesterday when I saw these, and I just grabbed one and left. I know I have some that I used in previous years, but it they probably don't look that great right now since I've had them for a while. So I want this snow to look nice and fresh. So I went ahead and picked some of that up. I also have a couple of DIYs that I'm working on. One of them is a topiary and this is going to be the topper for that simple topiary that will sit outside my front door. And I mean, you can see the size, it's pretty big. It's my head, there's a star. So this is got, got, going to be the topper for that. And again, guys, this is a Dollar Tree. Everything really was only a dollar. Put that there. All right, so for my, I just mentioned I'm going to be uh, doing a topiary. So I went ahead and picked up, these, these garlands are 15 feet in length. I picked up five of them, or I think six. I'm probably not even going to need all of these, but, um, I can always use them for other things, for other DIY projects, because 15 feet per dollar is actually quite good, and they're quite quite sturdy, so I know that I'm going to be able to use this for quite a few other things. And I think I heard my granddaughter behind me, well, in the in the room, she's um she's stirring. These are going to be some of the decorations that I use for the topiary. I, I don't know if you can see, there are gold and then there's um like a shimmery white on the other side and these were only a dollar so i picked up one of these and i also picked up some larger ones in the same color but those were i think um only seven in the container picked up uh, i'm going to be working with i just dropped something 
I'm going to be working with golds and whites for my topiary outside. So I went ahead and picked up these little, it's, it's a bunch, picked up two bunches. But what I'm going to be doing is cutting, cutting them off so I can, or maybe even just cutting the individuals so I can tuck them into the design, uh, the project that I'm going to be working on. So these were actually so pretty. And I, I prefer the, the white. For some reason this year, I'm going towards the gold and white. In previous years, it's been just the traditional colors. But this year, I think for that topiary, I've been going more towards the gold and white. So I picked up those two bunches. And what else do we have here? Oh yeah, I also picked up some ribbon. I think this is going to be a good complement to the green of the topiary that I'm going to be doing. And then all of the decorations that I put on there will be gold and white. So I picked up this mesh ribbon. And that is all garland. Well, I've been seeing these um, Dollar Tree makeup challenges, so I decided I'm going to um, try one out. I don't usually wear a lot of makeup and if I do I try to make my own using a lot of natural products but I went ahead and picked up a couple of things. I don't really use a lot of foundation but um, I think for this one I will. So I found this um, this B&B &B cream by Sassy and Chic. It is in the light but I think when I put on like a bronzer it should brighten up a little bit so I picked that up and I also found an elf mascara and um, I have very little lashes I really have to work hard to have any kind of lashes so I put a mascara on then I put on fibers and I put mascara and more fibers because I'm kind of losing eyebrows and eyelashes and I, I the, the reason I shave my head is because I really don't have a whole lot left anyway so I found this e.l.f. mascara and this boasts to be a 3-in-1 to lengthen, define and volumize. So I'm going to give it a shot and I am going to do the review and let you know how it works on lashes that are barely there. Alright, so I also found this blending sponge. Like I said, I don't really do a whole lot of makeup. I have I actually did a little bit more this morning than I normally would. Uh, but I found this blending sponge, so I'm going to give that a shot. Typically, I would use my fingers, but let's see. For this challenge, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I also found this soap. Oh, it smells amazing. It's made with oatmeal and coconut, and it's by a company called Sugar Soap Works. So I'm going to give that a try, and it's all... From what I see, they're pretty much all natural ingredients. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try, and I'm going to let you know. It has no artificial colors, there's no parabens, and there's, what, maybe five ingredients in this? So I'm going to give it a shot, and I will tell you whether that's a yes or a no. Because, like I said, I try to use all natural products sometimes you really can't get away from even the natural products sometimes have um, some things in there that you really don't want but anyway we're gonna give that a try and I will let you know how that goes now because I shave my head I obviously need razors and I just get the ones from the Dollar Tree they work really well I use the typically I use a three blade and that does the job this one is a six blade um, I'm going to try it and I'll let you know how, whether it's a yay or a nay because I've heard that you should, really shouldn't use six blade um, razors on you when you're shaving your head but I'm, I'm going to give it a try and see because I, the three blade really works well for me and I don't end up with razor burn. I do have ulcers on my scalp because I have lupus and a few other things that I'm dealing with but I've never cut myself with, with the razor before. Even with ulcers in my scalp, I've never, never cut myself. So I'm going to give these ones a try, and I will tell you how these work. So if you know people who are, you know, whether they're bald or they're just, if you're just trying to put together like a little Christmas basket for um, like a little spa basket, this is a really good, 
good item to put in there. And you can put together some really good Christmas baskets just by going to the Dollar Tree. For little, if you have little girls who are just getting into makeup, or you have um, friends who are, you know, really take care of themselves, you can find some really good self-care items at the Dollar Tree. So check those out. Let's put that right there. My granddaughter loves to color, but what little kid doesn't, right? And they love to color on walls. My, now, my granddaughter is not even two years old, but she loves coloring. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. And uh, these are, there's a little container. I've got one that she already opened yesterday, and she spent at least a half an hour coloring this thing. Now, the beauty of this is there's no paint involved. It's only water. You take this little container, you fill it up with water, or you put as much water in there as you want. And uh, the paper already has the color in there, but it's activated when you brush it with the water. And then it dries, and the color kind of fades away, so it can be reused unless the child is really, really scratching into the paper which in case you can put a hole through it. My granddaughter managed to put a hole through the first one yesterday, but she had a blast. And come on, this, this, these are only a dollar. So if you have, you know, uh, grandchildren who are young and they just like to have those, like to, to be coloring, to get creative, I mean, these kids do. So these are perfect items. They really think they're adding color, but all they're doing is just using the little brush at the end and adding water and the color appears right before their eyes. So these are some awesome little stocking stuffers, or even, uh, there's quite a few designs to choose from. So you could put together a nice little gift with this, just a collection of these. Awesome idea. This was this was probably my favorite thing that I picked up yesterday, because when I saw my, how involved my granddaughter was with it, oh my gosh, I have to go back and get a few more, because I only picked up two of them. The butterfly, she loves butterflies, and I picked up, I think the one I picked up yesterday was a hummingbird that she was working on. So I'm definitely going to be picking up a few more of these for her. Let me put that to the side. Um, if you've watched previous videos, you know I love shortbread, so I went ahead and picked up some, a couple more of these. This is not my absolute favorite, but these are absolutely, they're, they're really delicious. The, I don't remember the name of the other one. Um, anyway, but whenever I find shortbread cookies, I always buy, because especially this time of the year, in, it's a tradition for me to be eating shortbread this time of the year, and I think it is in the British system. Um, I, I think it is. So I always have shortbread cookies around, and even during the rest of the year, if I can find them, I always go ahead and pick them up. All right. Last item. No. Yes, actually, I think it is. I make wine. And Dollar Tree this year, typically I would buy this one. Let me show you that one first. Typically I would buy this bottle. They come out with this bottle every single year. And every year I would purchase a few of these. And... I would use these to bottle my wine and then I could put a simple label right across the center and I could shrink wrap the top so it seals in the the um, cap. But this year I found so many neat designs. One of them I've showed you is this one. Now I could just put a label right across the neck because there's no design there but I don't know if you can see there's like uh, grape, grapes, and then there's leaves. Actually, I could also, there's a space for the label right here. I just noticed that. So I could put a label right there. Or I could also put the label around the, the neck. And then just a simple bow at the top. That would make such an awesome gift once this is filled with wine. So I'm going to get started on my wine making because I typically do it around this time. Give it a, a couple weeks. Then here's another one. Slightly different, but again, there are the leaves. And just look at that. And this one also has the space that you can put your label. 
and uh, the top also has a clear area where you can put another label and you can also put a bow. So that's the second, the, that's the third one. And then here's another one. This actually, I think I might have shown you, I think I picked up two of these, but these bottles are amazing. Even if you were to just, gosh, I think even empty, they're awesome. But if you're a winemaker, if you make certain um, juices, if you make like herbal remedies, herbal teas, these are perfect to fill them up and just put a simple label, a bow. Um, I don't, you don't even need to shrink wrap it, I don't think, because the, the cap will fit securely in there. And then you can find a nice little wine bottle gift bag that you can put these into and give as a, as a Christmas gift. That's what I usually do at Christmas time. I have friends who love the wine that I make. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make quite a few. And I think I might actually go back and pick up a few more of these bottles. They do have them in color. I did find like a brown color. Um, they do have like a purple, red, almost like a pink color. Um, and a few more, but I love the clear. I love to be able to see the color of the wine through because the, the wine that I make, the color is going to turn out to be like a bright maroon color. So I love to be able to see it showing through with the bottles. And I again went and picked up, I did say that was the last item, but it wasn't. In a previous video, you probably saw that I mentioned this. So I picked up, uh, this is a lemon juice. It's 100% 100% lemon juice. It is from Concentrate, but I have checked um, the ingredients, and this is um, this is an awesome buy. I use this in the dishwasher. I use it to make lemonade. I use it to mix with other teas. that, And I probably go through, gosh, I use this quite a bit. Let's just put it that way. So this is by Riverton Orchards. Now, while I was looking for this, I came upon this. And this is by the same company, Riverton Orchards, and this is all lime juice. So what I'm going to attempt to do, I know it's not key lime, but I'm going to attempt to make like a, a cheesecake using this instead of key lime. Um, key lime juice is quite expensive, but I'm going to see if I can try using this lime juice and see what the difference is going to be in the taste. I'm sure there will be how big of a difference it's going to be and whether it really matters to me. I don't know, but we'll give it a try, right? Well, I think those are all of the items. I did end up picking up a couple like makeup brushes because after using, like I said, I don't really use a lot of makeup. Um, I do a lot of essential oils, oil blends on my face and I have brushes that I use you know whenever I put like a foundation on I use a powder foundation so my brushes tend to get really oily and then it mixes with the foundation that I'm putting on so I go through quite a quite a few brushes so I've recently started purchasing like I said the, the little sponges but anyway I'm not going to drag this video out long because like I said my granddaughter is um, kind of waking up um, in the room. So I hope you liked this little haul and if you like any of these items, now is the time to go and purchase them. Once I get my DIYs completed, well actually I'm going to be videotaping those so that you can see what I have done with the items that I've purchased here. And until then, take care. Um, if you upload any videos, um, just give me a shout out below so that I can head over to your channels and see what you're what you're doing. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you again really soon. In the meantime, be safe and take care and love your friends of your family and I will see you again.